Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's MapleDoop91 here. Hope you guys are having a great day and today I'm going to show you how to record and download Xbox One gameplay with voice chat using Twitch. And this process is completely free and anyone can do this. So first thing first, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do in this video. So I'm going to walk you through every step of the way how to get your setup done. And then from there, I will show you how to record your gameplay. And finally, in the end of the video, I'm going to show you how you can actually download these videos to your personal hard drive or your personal computer. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications. That way you will know when I upload my next video. So guys, let's get this started by downloading the Twitch app from the Xbox One store. So all you have to do is uh, click on your Xbox button and go into this menu and go all the way to the bottom. You will see the store icon. Click A and then you will enter there. And then go into search and type in Twitch. TW and then you have your Twitch app right here. So I have already downloaded it. That's why it shows uh, on here. But otherwise it will just say free as this uh, app right here as you can see but that is not the one you want to download and this is the one that you want to download so click on that and it will ask you to install it click on install and I believe it's about 160 megabyte file so it is going to take a while so what you can do is let it download right and then what we're going to do is you need to head into your computer or you can do this from your mobile as well uh, I'm in the incognito window just because I want to show you guys uh, what it is like to actually create your account for the first time in the search bar just type in twitch so guys if you do not have a twitch account what you should do is just click on the sign up button right here and then it will ask you to put on a username make sure you put on a good username and then uh, if it is available you will see a green uh, check mark right here and it will be the same for all of these as well. So put your password in and confirm the password just by typing the same password you typed here, date of birth and your email address and sign up, okay? So guys, only for the demonstration purposes, I have created this account. So when you have already signed into your account successfully, and then make sure that you do the verification process and going into your email, do that first. Click on this profile icon and then go into your settings. Okay. And once you are there, you will see the security and privacy tab. Go into that. So once you are in the security and privacy tab, you will have the ability to actually set up two-factor authentication right here. I cannot do that and show you guys right here because I cannot verify my email address because it's just a demonstration purpose email address. In that case, what you should do is uh, click on the setup two-factor authentication button and then it will uh, take you into a different window. I will have a link in the description. So that way, uh, if anything goes wrong or if you guys have any questions, that way you can follow that. Just a tip. Uh, you will be required to enable this two-factor authentication before you can begin broadcasting on Twitch. So better get it done because that is exactly what we are going to do next. Once you have actually done that, go back to your Xbox and open up your Twitch app. So guys, we are back in the Xbox account and now I'm going to click on the Twitch app and sign in. So once you have uh, successfully loaded your app, go into your sign in button and click A. And then here, it is asking you to uh, head to a certain link. So what you should do is go to your computer or just uh, pull up your mobile phone. Just type in this URL, http twitch tv dot, uh, slash activate. And then once you're there, it will ask you to put this code down that you can see on the right hand side. I am just going to hide it because it is for the demonstration purposes only, but you will have your own code. And then once you're in your uh, computer or your mobile phone, just type in Twitch TV slash activate, right? And it will take you to this window 
So whatever the code that you see on your uh, Xbox screen, this is what you should enter right here. And once you have done that, just click activate. So once you click on the activate button, this is what you get and click on authorize. And it will take you back into your Twitch TV account. So now you're basically done with your setup. And now it is time for you to go back to your Xbox and get in your game and start recording your game. So in this case, I'm just going to hop in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. This is just a tip, guys, that you need to be in a game to start recording your gameplay. Uh, you cannot ask the Twitch app to start recording first and then head into a game. When you have already started your game, now you should do is click on your Xbox button and go back to your Twitch account now since the Twitch app is open you should go into broadcast and click on broadcast so guys once you are here you are pretty much ready to go but before you actually get started there are certain uh, settings that we can change and if you can see on the fourth row it says microphone it should be on if you have actually uh, connected your headset into your controller which I have not at this moment this is why uh, it doesn't show and also party chat will be enabled once you have actually have any friends or anybody who is in your Xbox party chat and then you can control your game um, settings as well just by clicking on the, these arrows you can increase and decrease and you can mute it as well if you want to and here the bitrate is something that you need to be worried about because that is uh, the quality of your video so this is based on your internet connection so let's have the system do the work for you and click on the automatic button so my connection is so much faster and it gave me the option to go maximum bitrate it is 6500 and the stream resolution is maximum 1080p which is what i have set to already and here you can name your clip anything and then you can select the language and once you're done with all these options and happy with it you can start streaming so guys something i wanted to point out before you start streaming twitch app will only allow you to record xbox party chat but not your game chat for some reason i had tried different settings to make it happen but no luck so if you have all your friends invited to your xbox party chat and playing a game together in multiplayer you will be able to record all your conversations if any of you find out how to record your game chat when you are playing alone please comment down below it will help all of us from here you can go back to your game just like this and then play as much as you want and it will record until you stop recording so what you do is click on your xbox account again come back to your twitch account and then you will be here in this same window and instead of start streaming right here it will say stop streaming so once you hit that that video automatically saves into your twitch tv account once you're back in your computer and signed into your twitch tv account go to the top right hand corner and select my profile and you can choose the button channel right here it will take you into your channel and then it will have home about schedule video and chat click on the video tab and then again on the right hand corner you will see edit video click on that it will open up a different tab on your browser and once you've done that it will show you all the videos which you have recorded from here if you click on this three dotted icon you can click on edit you can change your title you can change your description your language the category and also you will have your video url if you wanted to copy that for any reason and you can save changes here and also if you click on this button you also have the option to download your video if you click on that it will prepare your video and then it will give you the option to save it to any location so that is how you actually record and download your gameplay with voice using your twitch app thank you guys